Oh, oh, what? The range on these moles is ridiculous. Look, they're hitting my base from all the way over there. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, hold on. We're gonna send you out first and then Bahamut. Bahamut, go, okay. Oh, that was poorly timed. Okay, no, it's fine. We're gonna break through some shields and we're, we're gonna make this work. I brought uh, Crazed Giraffe because why not? Apple wasn't doing anything just like Bahamut because he's dead. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Battle Cats. And for today's episode, it's gonna happen. Okay, we are gonna beat Raging Bahamut and Into the Future Chapter 3 Moon, and I refuse to give up until we do. I don't care if I run out of energy, I don't care if it uses all of my consumables, or if I don't have the right cats, it is happening this episode. And I think I'm ready. I've spent the weekend getting a couple million more experience, so I've leveled up the cats that I need. I've gotten a few strategies from you guys in the comments last episode. The only thing that I've put off is evolving Togolan Pasolan, because it is a bit of a first on the channel, right? We haven't seen a cat fruit evolution for an uber before, evolving him into Shishalan Pasolan. True form evolution has improved attack speed and defense, faster attack power gains, and resistance to wave damage. That resistance to wave damage is gonna be huge. <laughs> Just like him, we're evolving his crotch. Ooh, you got some fancy tattoos. Okay. So this is the loadout that I've decided on, and it is a little bit top heavy. Like everything that I'm bringing is very long cooldown, costs a lot. I don't have a lot of spammable cats like Casa Jizo or Paris or Dragon. And the reason for that is because I only want to spam my meat shields when I turn on my cat CPU. So I'm gonna use a cat CPU. I didn't use it last time. You guys were telling me that one of my biggest faults was that my meat shielding wasn't perfect and it'll never be as perfect as a cat CPU. But the issue is if you turn on a cat CPU, it'll always save up for the most expensive cat. So if I have dragon, it'll just leave this giant hole in my meat shields and save up to send out dragon, and I don't want that. So instead, I'm gonna bring pretty much nothing but Ubers and Seafarer and hope that it just does the job. As for those Ubers, we have Dark Merchant Babel, Marimizu, the Black Cat, and Shishalan Pasalan, all at level 30, so they're all maxed out. And then we have the Kachikachi Mobile at level 25. And I might be able to put another level or two into him, but I think I would rather have some experience in the bank in case this doesn't work and I need to switch strategies. You guys were telling me to change the Black Cat to the White Rabbit. And I'm not entirely sure if I agree with that because it would be nice to slow Bahamut's meat shields, but slowing Bahamut seems kind of redundant when he's max speed and it doesn't really show much of a difference. I think I would rather do damage, but I'll give it a try. People were also telling me to switch Dark Merchant Babel to Warlock and Pierre because Warlock and Pierre does four times more damage, but that's only to bases, that's not to aliens. Dark Merchant Babel does more damage to aliens, so... This should be as good as it's gonna get. I also have all of the anti-alien treasures up to 75, 80%, something like that. I was working with the treasure festivals over the weekend, so I think this is our best chance. I'm gonna bring Rich Cat, I'm gonna bring Cat CPU, I'm gonna bring Sniper Cat, and uh, a whole bunch of prayers. Now, even though I have Rich Cat and I could send out a whole lot more, we got max money, I don't really want to because I want all of these cats to die. I want to get Bahamut away from his base, because if he's right next to his base, when I kill his meat shields and they respawn, they'll be there right away. I want to kill him over by my base, so that his meat shields have some distance to travel, and mine don't. So these are going to be sacrificial cats, and then hopefully I don't let Bahamut just streamline to my base and ruin me. Where are you, buddy? There he is. Okay, come on. Get away from those stupid meat shields. Yeah, Mar oh, Marin Mizu, no. You get attack off, no, that, that would have been too much to ask for. Okay, here he comes. No, no, okay, here we go, there we go, everything go. Just send it, send it all out. Okay, we're gonna get, ooh, look at all your fancy tattoos. And then I'm probably gonna have to turn on the CPU once I get, ooh. Okay, there we go, we're good, we're good. That's on, CPU's on. And then it should just run. The meat shielding is not gonna get any better, and Shishalan just gotta push back. Oh, oh, okay, he took damage. I think that's good, right? Because now he should be doing way more damage than before. So if he gets a hit on Bahamut, he, I don't know, he might kill him. I'm not, no, no, okay, no, that wasn't him. That was the Kachikachi Mobile. Yeah, he missed. 
<laughs> You're gonna be kidding me. How are we doing on cooldowns? Everything is still on cooldown. So the meat shields are gonna keep going at full force. Holding him at parity. And his meat shields are taking ages to get back to him. So this is exactly what we need to be doing. Come on. I don't know if they're hitting him or not. <laughs> it's so hard to tell because he just doesn't react. I feel like we're hitting him. I, that was definitely a hit. We definitely pushed him back there. Okay, I'm gonna fire the cat cannon. I wanna get him a little bit further away from my base. Shishalan is doing a stupid amount of damage right now because we saw that he survived a lethal strike, which means he's just ramped up ridiculously. Oh, guys, come on. This is, yeah, we got another Gachi Gachi mobile out there. That's wonderful. We have enough money now that even if my Ubers come off cooldown, the cat CPU can send them out. I think we're gonna do it. I think this finally worked. The cat CPU ooh, is definitely making a big ol' difference. <laughs> People were also telling me that I could try to use God, because I never do. I wanna save my cat food. And you're right, I probably should have last time. But we're not gonna need any God this time. I brought prayers, okay, but it's not to the cat God, it's just to the battle cat's gods. Come on, Shishalan, finish him. We're actually pushing forward. We're not just at parity. We're gonna get their base. Every time he gets a knockback, I, I think he's dead. He's getting pushed back by Marin Mizu, so we're just gonna kill the base at this rate. I don't know how much health he has, but it can't be much. Shishalan, both Shishalans, are gonna be doing a stupid amount of damage, and we have two Warlock and Pierres. This is ridiculous. This cat takes so much damage. Yes! Oh man, that feels good. Okay, Cat CPU, you've done your job. There's so many Ubers on the screen right now. Oh, that's amazing. I had nothing else planned for this episode. What are we gonna do? We're gonna try out True Form Bahamut, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, 300,000 experience. And I assume it's a guarantee, right? Okay, I don't care what you have to say, I just want my True Form Bahamut. Where are you? Yes, there we go. For a second there, I thought I was gonna have to do it again with a treasure radar, but no, we can just evolve him into Awakened Bahamut Cat. And I feel like you deserve some experience, right? Yeah, you should be level 30. So let's equip him and have him tear up Cats of the Cosmos, I guess. He can get revenge on the aliens. I think to celebrate, we should open some rare cat capsules because Epic Fest is going on. I think it said that there was an increased chance at an Uber. Not entirely sure because all I'm getting is freaking swordsman cat, right? Yeah, swordsman cat. Okay, well, you can go to cat storage. I got one more. Wouldn't mind getting... What are you, Dark Midna? Mitama? Dark Mitama, yeah, give me one of those, please. Pretty please, Dark Mitama Nana? Whoa, oh, I thought that was an Uber. What are you? It's like, Sniper the Recruit. It's like a summonable sniper cat, okay. Sniper the Recruit, before the battlefield boot camp. Only given a potato gun, so don't expect too much. Knock back from his super long distance attack. Anti-red, anti-floating, anti-black, anti-angel, anti-alien, anti-zombie. Okay, that seems kind of good. I like long range attackers. Kind of curious what he's gonna evolve into. We're gonna have to keep an eye on this cat. So when we last left off in Cats of the Cosmos, we reached Cider's Star, otherwise known as Vegeta's Floating Head. And I completely forgot that it has conditions, so I've already lost a little bit of energy, but I need special, rare, or super rare only. Which means we can bring True Form Bahamut, but I am gonna have a bit of a motley loadout. <laughs> Not bad cats, particularly. I have a lot of really good cats, but I wouldn't normally bring something like Rice Ball who is hopefully gonna hold you guys off as I earn up 4,500 to send out Bahamut. Can you maybe not kill him? Uh, no, I said not kill him. Please not. Oh, you guys are gonna, oh, you guys are gonna be dicks like that. Okay, fine, we're gonna send out some stuff. <laughs> no, come on. I just wanna send out Bahamut. Don't put up a fight at my base and make me spam stuff. That's no fun. I'm eventually gonna kill something and then you guys are really gonna regret it. It's gonna happen. Ooh, I I'm not gonna meet you. I'm just gonna say, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my God, he is so cool. 
So he pretty much one-shots whatever he hits, right? He takes a second to, like, throw up his arms, but, oh man, he is just awesome. I wanna see if I can get him to, like, level 40, because I have a bunch of cat's eyes, and I feel like it's, it's probably well worth it. <laughs> Especially in these levels where you can't bring Ubers. Ooh, shields. That's not cool. How do you deal with shields, Bahamut? Oh, pretty well by the looks of it. Yes, smack those vegetables on Vegeta's head and unlock me normal forehead. <laughs> Completely normal forehead. Moving on to planet Caillou. Okay, I don't think I really need to change my loadout, mostly because I don't have any other cats that I've really leveled up. This is, whoa, this is it. Is that the dragon? I'm pretty sure behind that giant starred elephant is, yeah, that's Shenron with the Dragon Balls. <laughs> that is a blatant ripoff. I love Battle Cats. There's just no shame. Oh, oh, um, oh, okay. Well, let's just do stuff then. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Got freaking limitations, man. This is brutal. Ah, it hurts. I can't get through these shields, and then I can't kill anything to send out more cats. They're hurting my base right now. I need Seafarer out there. Come on, come on. There you go, Seafarer. Don't let them touch the base. Don't. Yeah, that's it. Freeze them. Don't let them dump. Don't let them touch the base. <laughs> Guys, come on. I just beat true form Bahamut. Why do you have to go and put me back in my place? Now in my head, I remember Caillou being a derpy little potato child, but apparently not. Apparently he hurts a whole lot. So how about we just keep you away from my base? I wanna level up at least once, but yeah, that's, that's fine. Just go and one-shot him. Just delay. Yeah, keep them away just a little bit. Ooh, this might actually work because they don't attack all that frequently, right? I think I found the loophole, Caillou. We could just send out one of them every now and then, and now we're gonna get True Form Bahamut. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Just destroy them. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love seeing those stupid little shields break. I'm just gonna keep saving up. I don't need a meat shield for him, do I? Ooh, okay. Oh, mistakes were made. I, oh crap, what? Guess who got overconfident? Okay, and Valkyries. Oh no, she's not dead, she just got teleported. I shouldn't be meat shielding as much as I am, but I'm terrified. <laughs> There's just no way. I cannot believe that it just killed True Form Bahamut in like three hits. Oh, these stupid shields, man. Like I can't even freeze or slow them or anything because I'm not doing anything. Oh, what do I do here? I don't know if the shields are damage-based or attack-based. Like, should I bring, I don't know, a lot of small attackers and they'll get through it quicker because it's every single attack does a little chunk or should I just be dealing more damage? Oh, come on, you stupid elephant, just die. I need to save up for Bahamut. I don't like it because they're hurting my base. Or not. Okay, so... That strategy worked. Just don't get overconfident. Oh, oh, what? The range on these moles is ridiculous. Look, they're hitting my base from all the way over there. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, hold on. We're gonna send you out first. And then Bahamut. Bahamut, go. Okay. Oh, that was poorly timed. Okay, no, it's fine. We're gonna break through some shields and we're, we're gonna make this work. I brought uh, Crazed Giraffe because why not? Apple wasn't doing anything just like Bahamut because he's dead. I have yet to land a hit on this freaking elephant, man. His shield is never ending and he one shots like everything that I send out. If Seafarer could freeze him just once or twice, he keeps getting the moles. And then even then that's not super useful because we never actually kill them. I, I've never killed something in this level. <laughs> Come on, just kill anything, kill a mole, for the love of God. If we could get another Bahamut out there, we might be able to kill something. Oh my God, it's just never ending. Okay, they're, they're not, oh wait, no, they're, yeah, they're, they're hurting the base, okay. You know what, maybe a consumable or two is uh, uh, 
God, these levels just make my brain melt out my ears. I know there's gonna be people that are gonna comment saying, oh, it's because you're so uber carried. It's because I can't use my base cats and I've invested all of my time and experience into base cats and ubers. I don't have a whole lot of super rare and regular cats that do that much, which is just murdering me right now. So we're gonna bring cat CPU, and we're gonna bring, uh, I don't know, bring everything, screw it, I've got like 40 of each of them. I'm gonna bury you, Caillou, in a delay for as long as I can, and just keep them as far away from the base as possible, because I'm making money, are we getting to the point where the moles are, the moles are touching me, okay, I don't want to be touched by the moles, so send out freaking everything, cat CPU, go. Cat CPU, send, send stuff out, okay, it, it's out of my hands now. Okay, so it looks like if you bring Rich Cat, it makes a whole bunch of difference. I actually landed a hit in the face of that stupid elephant and it melted. <laughs> I feel better now. Screw you, Shenron. You can get buried alongside Caillou and the damn moles. It almost feels like a waste having used these consumables, but then I remember that I hate this level. Moving on to Magellantic, with the condition of cats that can only cost 1200 or less. I don't think we've seen this one before, and I thought about my loadout for a little bit, and it turns out I can kind of cheat it, because Casa Jizo and the original form of Kachikachi and Marin Mizu's original form, they all come in under 1200. <laughs> So I still get my level 30 Ubers one way or another. We rarely get to use these cats. This is cool. I'm looking forward to this. I also brought uh, Island Cat, I believe. And I don't think I've used him much, if ever. Ooh, okay, yeah, we definitely got some aliens. I'm happy I brought Mizzy, Mizzly, Miramizu's first form. Okay, here we go. Lots, lots of red, lots of aliens. <laughs> Okay, I, I feel better now. I feel like we're not gonna get curb stomped. That would usually be the point where I would jump cut to me getting curb stomped, but no, I think we're actually fine. I've got a real thick stack of Parises. I'm not even spending my money as I talk because we just have so many cats out there. So many little adorable cats. <laughs> and I think we're pushing through. I really need to get around to trying out Marin Mizu's green brother. What was his name again? I don't know, it was just really underwhelming. It had long range attacks or something like that. Whereas Marimizu had like six or seven different OP abilities. There we go, okay. That's what I like to see. We're gonna carry on with Butara and the conditions once again of 1200 or less. I feel like my loadout is pretty good. There are a couple of other cats that I could bring in like Apple or whatever, but I feel like we're gonna be seeing a lot more alien and a lot less anything else. Get out of the way, shielded and cloaked harambes. I will break through. <laughs> I can't even send out any more cats. Like, I have very little to do right now, but wait. Watch my little kachikachi flamethrower. Burn it all down under water. I think we're gonna finish off the episode on Mosk and Dag, and I'm really hoping that they don't throw me a curveball and have it be a bunch of red units or a bunch of metal units because I have cats that I could bring for that. Are you? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't count. It happens, you know, every now and then you're traveling through space and you need to make a quick pit stop just to pick up a few cats like Apple Cat and Catasaurus that should make our time much, much easier, right? If this strange person in a cup is going to send snakes at us in space, please stop that, that's very rude. Oh no, not the moles. I got rid of Marin Mizu. I didn't think there were gonna be any aliens or are there other moles? No, it's an alien mole. That's one thing that I'm curious about. Do you think they're gonna introduce like metal moles? That'd, that'd be terrifying. <laughs> Just the alien ones are so freaking strong as it is. Oh yeah, suck it. Metal stains, no chance against Catasaurus. That's a lot of snakes. Whole bunch of snakes, but I think we are gonna do just fine. The moles aren't quite as powerful without their stupid starred elephant friend, and I feel like Catasaurus just never dies. Like, there are so many of them stacked there, it's hard to tell, but there has to be a dozen or so. <laughs> and that's what happens every time I use him. Like, he's really cheap, you can send him out quite frequently, and he just, I don't know why, maybe he has a crazy long range or something like that, but he just never seems to die. 
There just seems to be so many of them sitting there all jumping in unison and critting everything in sight. Oh, maybe, maybe some of them died. Maybe a few. Okay. You guys are, oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're putting up a bit of a fight, you stupid moles. I'll get you yet. Ow! What on earth? They have such a stupid range. It's just ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Look at the damage that they're doing. Oh my god, I'm gonna get him. Don't don't you worry. We're gonna get through this stupid metal meat shield, and then we are gonna pluck them out of the ground and eat them. Do cats eat moles? Cats eat everything. Oh, finally. Oh my god, that took a million years. It was to the point where I thought it might have been bugged, because we have been hitting and critting that stupid hippo for a long time, but now that he's out of the way, we're coming for you. And hit you with the cat cannon and pluck you out of the ground. There we go. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> if I didn't have the ability to do critical damage right now, this level would have been impossible. So I know some people like to think that if you back out and change your loadout that you're cheating or something like that, but that's fine. I'm a cheater. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And I'm really happy that we got True Form Bahamut, but not quite as happy that I didn't get to use him a whole lot. And then the one time that I did use him, I kind of got stomped on. But overall, I think he's gonna be a great addition. And now we get to move on to Ururun Wolf. A lot of people have been asking, when are you gonna go back to it? And I've been putting it off because I don't think I'm anywhere near prepared. Apparently that whole section is gonna be way more difficult than Into Future Chapter 3, but it will be my next objective because I really wanna get that cat. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.